Hero life is a secret. I only get to fly around and see things at night. But the red haired lady and the singing man, well, they're the people I live with in Queens, are taking me to a place called St. Kitts. St. Kitts is an island in the West Indies. The west coast of the island borders the Caribbean Sea, and the east coast of the island faces the Atlantic Ocean. It has sunny skies, warm waters, and white sandy beaches. I want to stay for many a day on an island where the people all play. A cave for trains and then a plane. Plenty light for all, have no stress or strain. I'm gonna go where days are slow. Will I return? I just don't know. I can't be coy, cause I'm bursting with joy. It's only happy days ahead for this year, boy. Soft breeze is blowing, ocean spray. It's palm trees dancing, music filled the air. Island freedom makes people sway. But this is daylight without the care. Thank you. 
first to see how it works. Seven O O's are the arts with color, design, and light. There's painting, prints, and photography. Artists can always be like. The Dewey Decimal, Dewey Decimal, Dewey Decimal System. Eight hundreds are literature, the shelves that teachers hold dear. There's fiction and poems and fancy veteran. And let's not forget Shakespeare. Shakespeare! Nine hundreds are geography and history from all time. All the world at fingertips, libraries are really sublime. The Dewey Decimal, Dewey Decimal, Dewey Decimal System. The library can be a magical place. Travel in time and meet heroes face to face. But before you can read and start all the fun, you gotta find in the book. The Dewey Decimal's how it's done. Books. Read about it. I am a super bunny. <laughs> oh, here we go. A travel guide to St. Kitts. This is exactly what I need. Great. St. Kitts is an island nation in the West Indies over 1,000 miles southeast of Florida. The main export products from the island are coconuts, cotton, sugar, and salt. It has been inhabited since the Ice Age when nomadic tribes came upon its shores and settled. The island's official name is St. Christopher Island, named after Christopher Columbus. Wow, it's amazing what you can learn at the library. Oh, here's something cool. It says St. Kitts and its sister island, Nevis, were once among the most profitable islands in the Caribbean and became a target for pirates. Cool. I wonder if there's pirate treasure still buried in the sand. You have a big imagination, Veronica. Let's go to the cartography room and look at a map of St. Kitts. Good idea. I can get a lay of the land. And maybe we can find an old pirate treasure map, too. Why? No, X. X marks the spot. Oh. No. X. X marks the spot. G. No. X. X marks the spot. I. No. X. X marks the spot. R. No, Barty, not Y, not O, not G, not I, not R, but X. Oh, you said but X. <laughs> such a dim-witted young man. It's hard to believe that you're my sole heir and will someday inherit my entire fortune. He's a dimwit! Uncle Scully! Captain Scully! Uncle Captain Scully! Just Captain, dear one. Make it easy on yourself. Just Captain! Captain! Yeah. I'm hungry. Bonnie, you want a cracker? Well, that's why we came ashore, to hunt for our supper. Ooh, and what's for supper tonight, Uncle Captain Scully? Well, it sounds full of all sorts of delicious things. Fresh fruits and vegetables, never few. We shall gather what we may and bring back to the ship the ingredients for Rabbit Cordon Bleu. Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Rabbit? Do you like rabbit, Uncle Scully? Yes, Barty. Yes, I do. Boiled, broiled, or in a stew. Find me your rabbit, and then just grab it, and hold it down so I can quickly stab it. We will flambe it. No, let's saute it. Yes, that's what we will do after I slay it. <laughs> the taste of a rabbit is now a habit. What do you think of making a Welsh rabbit? Slow burning fire is my desire. Gently sear the hide, or it tastes like wire.
one We'll never eat one And these dishes that I sing of will not get done Oh, these dishes that I sing of will not get done. One, two, three. stretch of beach. I'll just make myself comfortable. <laughs> Today, the red-haired lady and the singing man are off scuba diving, so I have the whole day to myself to relax quietly and enjoy the beach. You know, before I settle in, I think I'll go climb a palm tree and get a coconut. <laughs> I can sip on the coconut water that's inside. It's full of vitamins and minerals. And will make me feel very tropical while I sit here on this beach. Oh dear. I quite forgot. Rabbits are somewhat extinct here on St. Kitts. We've eaten all the conies on this island. Oh yes, please! I love hot dogs! What are you talking about? Coney Island hot dogs, I love hot dogs. Yes, but I couldn't see the connection. Oh, you said Coonies. And I said, yes, please, I'll take a hot dog. Oh, now dear one. Coney is another word for rabbit. Oh. All right, you see, I thought maybe we would go to Coney Island and get some hot dogs. <laughs> My dearest nephew, the way your mind works makes me feel you are never going to fully understand the family business. No. Well, why don't you explain it to me just one more time, Uncle Captain Scully? It's very simple. We've been raiding and looting cruise ships and cargo ships for many, many years. All that treasure is buried here on this beautiful stretch of deserted beach on Hideaway Bay amongst all the historical artifacts and ancient pirate treasure that's been here since Christopher Columbus first discovered this island some 500 years ago. And that's a lot of booty. You said booty. May I continue? Please do, Uncle Scully. Stupid, but polite. Could be worse. <clears throat> the weight of the treasure is too much for our modest, yet very speedy little pirate ship to handle. So, we've been hijacking garbage barges from St. Kitts, dumping all the garbage into the ocean, and filling it up with as much treasure as we can, and exporting it illegally to the black market to be sold. Then, we sink the barge. So it never can trace it back to us. And we repeat the whole process over and over again, etc., etc., etc. That's from the king and I, right? You know, I find it very disturbing how much you know about musicals. And nothing else. Yes. The island's royal police don't have a clue as to what's going on. All they know is that some barges, full of garbage, have gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> I found an intruder listening to everything you were saying over by that palm tree. Let go of me! Who are you? He's a spy! I'm Thump for me, no super bunny. I heard everything you said, and I'm here to end all your evil actions. Oh my, what do we have here? Oh, he said his name was- Shut up, you! I heard what he said. <laughs> I was trying to create a dramatic moment. Oh. Let me see, where was I? <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> it's a bunny. A delicious little bunny. I'm Thumperino Super Bunny. Oh, and he's brought his own little yellow tea towel with him to do his sunbathing. <laughs> How do you do, Rabbit? I am Captain Seabrook Scully. And you are at my service. 
I'm Thumpery No Super Bunny. This one's gonna get very annoying very quickly. <laughs> so it brings me to this deserted beach to do his sunbathing. Oh, I'm on vacation. Ah, he's on vacation. He's on holiday. He's a tourist. Maybe I'll get my Welsh rabbit after all. <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Captain Scully. Filling the oceans with trash isn't just illegal, it's detestable. Not to mention stealing barges and smuggling garbage out of the country, which are just two more rungs on your rotten ladder of crime. Crummy criminals like you can't get away with treating others so carelessly for your own personal gain. <coughs> but I do it so well. I mean, there's none there in the miles of Scully. He's the king! Well, I'm warning you, your bragging will be your downfall. And since when is stating the facts considered bragging? The facts is facts, rabbit. Just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. I'm thumping no super funny. Please stop saying that. <coughs> we know who you are. Now that I know how you've been plundering and polluting this island and the ocean surrounding it, I swear I'll put an end to your monstrous misdeeds if it's the last thing I do. Well, I'll cover him in shackles. I don't want him to escape. We'll take him to my ship, and we'll decide what to do with him once I'm standing on the deck. I always make my best decisions when I'm standing on the deck of my pirate ship. It's a beautiful ship. It's made out of elm, which is a rail. To the ship! To the ship! That's my life. To the ship! Don't speak. Well, it's over Broadway. <laughs> to the ship! To, to the, the ship. ship! To the ship! But! You say but. <coughs> Before we can go to the ship, we have to sing the pirate song! Them's the rules! Before you can row me in a boat out to sea, out where my ship is commanded by below me. <laughs> And I breathe the fresh and salty air. But before I can go out to where I belong, first we must all sing the great pirate song. P is for pirates and pillage and plunder. Also, there's walking the plank. <laughs> yeah. I is for Ireland. Infamous, you got him. The whole world is my fish tank. R is for ransack, ruffian, and revolt. And let's not forget about R. A is for anchor, a hoy and adventure. Every cheat must have a scar. T is for treachery, treasure, and torture. Also, there's It's fun on the deep blue sea. So there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Who here knows which is a pirate's favorite letter? I'm asking you guys out loud. You, you just shout it out. Uh, oh, one would think a pirate's favorite letter is R. It's a very smart guess. Not P either. It's actually the C. I got you all. You didn't expect that. Now, who here wants to be a pirate? Raise your hands. Oh, we got a lot of pirates. I love getting new pirates. Like, if you want to be a pirate, you have to sing the pirate song with us, all right? Bob just walks. Get out the visual aids. So they'll help you along with the words. Just follow them, all right? There we go. <clears throat> P is for pirate, pillage, and plunder. Also for walking a plank. I is for island, infamous, still gone.
pirate. Come up on stage and do the song and dance with us. Seriously, come on up. We don't mind. Oh, I love your paradise. It's, it's, it's got the exact right colors and everything. I love it. It's so nice. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Anyway, oh, hello there. Oh, you got a pirate on your shirt. Oh, it's a pirate. Come on down. Do the fast and safe. Pull this left. Thank you very much. You're a pirate at any age. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Hey, well, try to leave this for me. It's a piece of paper, it's not going to or anything like that. Alright, uh, does anyone want to have a latte? Oh, hold that one for me. Uh, you, Chris, I'll hold this one. Alright, now, what do we have? We have top leg, so we got to make sure we're in the right water. So, if you like, you can stand up with top. Sure. 
I'm going to use Captain Scully's radio to trick him into a confession over the airwaves. All right, Rabbit, your time has come. Uh, now, you were saying that I've seen and know too much? That's right, Rabbit. Too much. But I haven't seen anything. And I don't know anything. Oh, you know everything. For example, you know where my treasure's buried. At Hideaway Bay. Buttocks marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that empty stretch of beach on St. Kitts? Oh, I bet I couldn't find that place again if I tried. All beaches look the same to me. Me too. <laughs> you enter my papers, so you know that I smuggle all my treasure out of the country in salt crates. Salt crates? That's right, Rabbit, salt crates. Well, salt crates are so simple and in plain view, too. That's genius. I know. I smuggle out right from under their noses. The authorities are clueless. Tons of salt are exported from the local mines every day, and no one ever inspects the food. <laughs> Absolute genius. Tell me more. Of course. Well, I can't smuggle all the treasure out of this little ship, so that's why I've been hijacking garbage barges from St. Kitts and dumping all the trashy cargo in the sea to make room for my booty. And my uncle has a real big booty. Big booty. I like big booty and I cannot lie. You other paracatis. That's guys. enough. That's not even from a musical! It's actually a shrek. <laughs> Are you sure you want to follow in my footsteps? Footsteps! Footsteps! Yeah, I'm practicing style. <laughs> if I could do what I want, Uncle. No. Maybe I should speak to my aunt, Uncle. No, tell me, I want to know. I'm afraid that you'll say that I can't, Uncle. Just get on with it. Tell me. Tell us all. I've wanted this since I was an infant, Uncle. I want to be a Singing and dancing pirate Just like the ones on Broadway Wearing pants made of satin Not these rags anymore Living in Manhattan I'd never leave it silent shore Out in the spotlight is where I Every night for my adoring throng Get me an agent and a manager too They'll steal more than their percent Cause Broadway has its pirates too Oh yes they do I want to be a singing and dancing pirate Just like the ones on Broadway
chance. I'm here to die, rabbit. Any last requests before I string you up from the highest yard arm? Yes. My last request is to walk the plank. Oh, I love watching someone walk the plank. That's my favorite pirate pastime. Walk the plank? Yes, that is my last request. Walk the plank. But that would be a complete waste of a perfectly good meal. Eh, uh, <laughs> Uncle Scully, you can't even refuse someone the last request. What? <laughs> now you become a brainiac? You finally say something intelligent, and it's exactly what I don't want to hear! You can't refuse his last request! <laughs> Chicken Gatatori is sounding quite delicious right about now, you unhelpful, <laughs> foul, foul. You should eat more vegetables. <laughs> Sporks, do something useful. Make sure his chains are on tight. He's gonna walk the plank. I want him to sink to the bottom straight away from the weight of his shackles. Aye, aye, Captain. And Barty, you go get the plank. Aye, aye, Captain Scully. Well, since you've chosen to walk the plank as your final act, it's to the bottom of the drink for you and no supper for me. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah, blah, blah, blah. Hop on it and get it over with. You'll never get away with this. Sorry to say it, but it looks like I already have. Oh. <laughs> Water's warm. Rabbits are strong swimmers, so I shouldn't be sinking to the bottom like this. I should be bursting to the surface like a cork. Oh, but the weight of these chains is holding me to the bottom like a rock. on the sandy bottom of the Caribbean Sea. I can't hold my breath any longer. My nose is tickling. What's going on? I feel like I'm turning into a fish. Oh, I seem to be able to breathe underwater. That can't be possible. I must be imagining things. Rabbits definitely do not have this aquatic skill. My neck is tingling like I have gills. Sure enough, I'm doing it. I'm breathing at the bottom of the sea. I thought for sure I'd drown, but I must have acquired another superpower. What should I call it? Independent scuba? No. Self sufficient scuba. <laughs> Super Scuba! Oh, I like that one. Scuba stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. You must be the Lepisarticus. I was foretold of your coming. It's been years since I've seen a Lepisarticus in person. Actually, it's been centuries. I thought they'd become extinct as so many of us have here in the ocean. I am an enter octopus dolphiny. They call me Bo. What do they call you, my friend? My name is Thumperino Superbunny. I salute you, Thumperino Superbunny. Thank you. Mr. Bo? Yes, my boy? You said I'm a Lepis Articus. Yes. That is an arctic hare. I've met many in my lifetime, but none recently, and never in such warm waters as the Caribbean Sea. So you've met others like me? Yes, many times. Where did you meet them? In the surrounding waters of the North Polar region. We are both, you and I, indigenous of the North Pacific. According to legend, Arctic hares are the keepers of the northern lights. The northern lights? Yes. To signal the changing of the seasons, the Arctic hares would fly into the sky at night with a magical blue crystal called Arcticite. They would take the crystal in each paw and bang them together. The banging of the crystals would create colorful ribbons of rainbow light that waved about the night sky. The Arctic hares would fly into the air in celebration of the Earth and her bountiful gift to all creatures. That's amazing. 
Yes, but the earth and her oceans are in trouble. The celebration of her gifts may be coming to an end. What do you mean? The ocean makes up two parts of the earth. Mankind just doesn't understand its worth. With pollution being dumped in our ocean, the end of my world has been set.
in charge here. I'll see him court martialed for interfering with indecent civili with innocent civilians like myself and my crew. Who is the yellow-bellied coward who's accused me of all people of doing something illegal without evidence? I am an ideal citizen. I. I am placing you and your crew under arrest in the name of the Royal Police of St. Kitts. We received your distress signal and subsequent radio transmissions of your confessions to international crimes of looting, pollution, trade infractions, the theft of local shipping vessels from the island nation of St. Kitts. How do you know it was me and my ship? Radar pinpointed your location. Yes, but how do you know it was my voice you heard on the, the, the radio? The transmission was recorded. We have the whole thing on tape. It'll be up to a judge and jury whether we arrested the right man or not. Well, I'll be a fat-boned bug swallower. <laughs> you know, along with the transmission, we recorded a song sung by an incredibly talented performer. Beautiful voice, charismatic personality. I believe he will go far and have a great career in show business. <laughs> what? Have you got barnacles in your ears? Barnacle ears! <laughs> it was that rabbit. He did this. He's been a fire in my oven since I first laid eyes on him. He's the reason we got caught. And they still haven't had me supper. You should have eaten him when you had the chance. One more squawk out of you and I'll pluck you right here and now and use your feathers for the pillow in my cell. Well, if that's the way you feel about it. So long, farewell, or feet as ain't. Goodbye. <laughs> I say, isn't that from the sound of music? <laughs> uh, I can't take this anymore! The world's trying to suck the life out of me! My ship's a bucking your scurvy dog! But you have to kill me before I die! Hoist the Jolly Roger sent Sammy's voice! You've taken your last voyage on the high seas for a very long time, Captain. Where you're going, you'll be facing a criminal trial, followed by an extended vacation. In prison. <laughs> this will make a great souvenir for Veronica. Justice at last. Submarino Super Bunny, with a little help from Bo and the Royal Police of St. Kitts, saves the day! Vacation's over, it's back to New York again. Ta -la -la, ta -la -la. Vacation is over, it's back to New York again. And I know.